Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Joe Burrow dealing. Fired up for this one. Locked in. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Before we dive into the video, quick reminder, we have revamped the Quarterback School Patreon community. Now over a thousand Patreons. So I sincerely appreciate the support. If you're looking for even more Quarterback School content, really in-depth, detailed nuance, what it's like in an NFL quarterback room, hop over to the Quarterback Patreon community. It has never been cheaper, never been easier, more streamlined, or more content available. So great way to support the channel and get even more content. So hop over there enroll become a member i sincerely appreciate it as for this video let's get into it joe burrow have yourself a day almost goes for 500 it helps with plays like this big post over the top really everybody's open up top again when the Bengals are pass protecting at all and joe burrow's got a chance to deal down the field it is a thing of beauty this thing comes out perfectly so efficient with his motion his pocket movement his accuracy, the arm strength looks as strong as ever, if not stronger. Right here, there's just no chance here up top. We're going to put a two-on-one -on, -one on the safety. We're going to run this big post right by him. That's where the touchdown goes. Looks like we get like a double move up top, probably a touchdown too. Now it helps when this guy falls down. But either way, I think both these guys are going to have chances for big plays. Love the aggressiveness early here. Again, just check his base out. Back of his drop, hitch. No heel click, great balance, sequence, smooth, dime, outstanding. Just so much to like. Again, the rhythm that he plays with, the vision, you know, poor 54. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Got no chance. Really taking advantage of matchups all day, but there's big plays to be made. Love it. Next one. I really like this throw. This is one of those reps that will just be forgotten, but the slot to the bottom down here, a little hook. The touch and accuracy here to put this thing away from the dropping defensive end and between the rolled up corner. So number nine, standing up, drop. We're gonna throw it away from him. Really kind of a surprise that he probably drops there. But the touch here to be able to fit this thing in. So where's the ball end up? Right here. We're going to have this player right here. We're going to have this player right here drop into this window for this hook. Okay, so we're also going to get a flat player outside of it. So we've got to kind of navigate over the defensive end. So we've got to put it just over him. But we can't lead him outside because he'll get hit. So it's that perfect combination of touch, feel, accuracy. I mean, that's... That's not a big window. And I just love where the ball is feathered and layered. It's a really nice catch too. But to me, th those are the reps that, yeah, that will be a completion on paper. But there's a lot of finesse. There's a lot of great quarterbacking in this play. Just outstanding job. Next one here, second and five. This is a scramble to our right. He's going to end up getting it to the check down. But the touch here, off platform, the vision, the half retreat, I mean, you forget that the dude can deal like a playmaker too when he gets outside the pocket. So watch the back. Going all the way through. Look at Burrow's vision here. He's fading away. He throws it over two defenders perfectly on stride. This is an absolute dot. And that is a check down scramble. So again, how this thing, just appreciate the touch here of this more than anything else because you know it's not there down the field. He's got to get out of there. Then look where the back is right now, right at the bottom of the logo. Okay, we're going to scramble. And it's not like a normal clean scramble where you think, oh, we're going to come out here, carve this thing, get downhill. He's retreating. Okay, He's retreating, going backwards this way. And he's going to have the vision here to throw it to this check down coming like this over a few bangles. Or a few Falcons, I should say. Just really great job. I mean, this is these are those throws where you turn on the film and you're like, what? Like, I feel my eyes popping when I watch this the first time on All-22. You just shouldn't be able to have the vision to do this and the audacity to make this kind of touch throw back over the middle, over defenders, and put it right on him. I mean, it is right 
on him. And it allows him to run after the catch and make it an even bigger play. Outstanding. Next one. This is a back shoulder up top. You know, Joe Burrow puts on a back shoulder clinic. He might be, I'm trying to think, I'm sure this is some recency bias in here for me, but he might be the best to ever do this. I'm sure Aaron's right up there as well. But it seems like these are just easy handoffs for him. Way easier than most. Maybe Drew Brees at his peak. But I feel like Joe Burrow's even more consistent. And so on these back shoulders, and there's a bunch of them in this game, usually if you, you're going to run this as like a go, you don't predetermine it's a back shoulder very often. And we're running hip by hip. We're right next to each other. You're just going to put this in kind of high and away, let your guy turn into it, and take advantage of it. And the defender has no chance usually unless they're guessing. Because if they're playing the deep nine ball or deep go, they're not going to be able to turn and make that catch or even that deflection. And the accuracy of it. It's the timing, the accuracy, the relationship to kind of feel each other's body language. But then you've got to be able to put it where you want. The ball control is outstanding. Next one, a little out at the bottom. I love the stem of this route at the bottom from the number one, first of all. There's great anticipation, accuracy. The other thing that we really appreciate from the back here, watch the drop. See him get lined up. Y'all think I'm, you know, being mean to certain guys about not being lined up. This is lined up to your left. This is the details of playing the position. Three-step lined up to your left at the top of your drop. That is what it looks like. Get it out on rhythm, on time, with great accuracy. So again, from the wide here, we'll be able to see the, first of all, the stem of it. Okay, so we're running this out from the number one position. Just look where the corner is here. He's outside of them because we're in kind of a tight condensed formation, tight-ish, medium condensed. So you kind of push out and then up to get on his outside edge. Then we're going to throw this in before he comes out of it, and the ball is going to be up away on his face. There's just so much to love. Watch this stem of the wide receiver at the bottom. Out, now we're on. See how we go from inside leverage to now we're outside leverage. We got him. The anticipation, Burrow breaks his hands right here. Look at the receiver at the bottom, not out of the route yet. Accuracy, where is it? Up on his face. I mean, it's a dime. Y'all, this is master class quarterbacking. The footwork, the timing, the anticipation, the accuracy, locked in. Next one here. This is a play action over to the slot up top. It's com coming towards us to the bottom of the screen. Now, this is a great catch. This is a hell of a throw, too. We're going to beat the robot of 44. So watch the linebacker. He's going to bite on the fake, turn and run. Okay. Now, when he turns and runs, you should know what I'm going to say. Okay? He's only covering the width of his shoulders. Put it on a t-shirt. Put it on a mug. You can throw this thing anywhere you want. Now, easy for me to say you can throw it anywhere you want. Take a peek at what's in his lap. 97 coming barreling down on him. Okay, We took an L. Never good to see an offensive lineman on the ground in front of you. He is staring down the barrel here. He puts this thing. He's able to throw this thing over here because he's got to be able to hang tough. This is what being tough playing quarterback in the league at a really high level looks like. There is a dude barreling down on you. Now, that's a hell of a catch, too. Don't get it twisted. But look where he takes this shot. Shoulder, ribs. He can't follow through. And that is a dime. One more time. The robot of 44. Put it right on him. Great catch. Protects himself from the corner as well. But this is some pretty spectacular touch. The timing of this thing. And then he takes a straight up shot because we take an L at left guard. Whoop. Hang tough. Let it rip. My goodness. That's a hell of a catch. It's a big time throw, and that is quarterbacking at a really high level. Hanging in there, taking a shot. Just the ball control. Every throw, seemingly. Touchdown this time. Bottom of the screen, big go ball. Middle field closed, one-on-one -on -one to chase. They're going to take it all day, every day. Bump, even easier. Get locked in. Drop it right out of a helicopter, right down his line, on his face. Nice catch. Just outstanding. Again, just a subtle little head hold over here to the left or down the middle of the field. Gets it out on rhythm. 
the trajectory of that ball really nice too. It's not a true go ball, maybe like you would drop out of the rafters because where they are on the field, okay, they're on the 32. This is the, this thing gets up and down at the goal line, so 30-ish yards. So you got to get it up and down. And again, for me, the, the most important thing here, first of all, there's a lot of important things, but the accuracy. So let him win, best release, pick his line and go. Now he gets squeezed a little to the sideline, but this ball is right down his line, right? It catches him on his face. This ball catches him. The other thing, because where we're at, the 30-ish, usually in the league they say 40, 42 yards are usually a true go ball where you're going to kind of like old school Russell Wilson drop that thing out of a helicopter right on his line. This to me is a little bit more of like a seven iron mid trajectory. Okay, but the ball has to get up and down. You have to control the trajectory of the ball to not only get it up and down with enough space, but also before that middle field player is able to come make a collision. So this middle field player is always the quarterbacks. The wide receiver has to beat the corner. Okay, so whatever you do here, and then we have to get it up and down before that collision can come. So just a really, I mean, there's seemingly every rep of this game is Joe Burrow dealing. Again, love the footwork, love the timing, the trajectory, the touch. Damn near every single thing about it. Just a great job. Up, out of the screen, right on his face, outstanding. Next one here. We're going to be in a little two-minute situation. Second and 17. Wrap into the bottom. Whoop. Again, that's, that's as open as you'll ever see it. Love a good in right down the hash. Really kind of take advantage of that curled defender on the tight end. He comes up. We wrap it right behind him. Again, one more time. Look at three. We're reading the tight end. We want that curled defender to drive. That what I'm used to calling kind of a gather pivot. We want him to come down because we're trying to wrap that wrap in right behind him. So it's really just a two-on-one -on, on that curl defender. Again, got no chance, especially with the middle of the field that wide open. Look at the top, look at the middle linebacker, 54. He's running to the field. So you let him run to the field, put it right down the hash, big chunk. Again, from the sideline, you can really see that wrap in element. Again, just simple two-on-one -on, -one on that curl defender. He comes down. And it just opens it up. That's a beautiful call. Great design. There's a lot to like. Taking advantage of the structure of their defense with the middle linebacker open into the field. And that's as open as you'll ever see it. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. It lets you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I sincerely appreciate the support for the channel. We also have the Quarterback School Patreon community. You know about it. You are interested. I sincerely appreciate the support. You can find the link in the video description. Get over there. Check it out. Become a member. I appreciate it. We also have Quarterback School courses. We got a number of Quarterback School courses. Really, the premium content available through the channel goes into all sorts of in-depth topics, really my favorite topics about ball. So if you're interested in taking your game to the really next level, hop over there, check out the Quarterback School courses. We also have a bunch of additional free resources available. We've got a Pass Pro quiz. We've got a play calling tool. We have a free quick game course. So if any of those sound interesting, all of them can be found in the video description with the links. I sincerely appreciate the support, checking it out. As for this video, let's keep it going. So right after that play, we're going to get a back shoulder up top. Another dime. Middle field closed. Man, make the corner miss. Run away from the safety. Run away from everyone. And that dude is a freak. If you get a freak thrown to a freak, good things happen. They present kind of a too high shell. They rotate to middle field closed. Man, you don't make a tackle in man coverage. Big, big plays are out there. So again, just look at the presentation of the defense here. So what looks like some iteration of too high, middle field to open, split field coverage. Well, they're going to rotate down here. So they're going to come down. He's going to come back. That's just middle field closed, bump man. We know what happens for the Bengals. First middle field closed, bump man. The ball's going to chase. And again, the accuracy, the timing, the ability for Joe Burrow to put the ball exactly where he wants. They're on the same page. I mean, that thing is just a thing of beauty. Love the footwork of it. Watch his base. Lined up to his left. Ball comes out on time, rhythm, right up on his face. Boom. On the body, on the break, I should say. Make a miss and run away from him. 
just outstanding. I mean, just chunk, 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 chunk. So fun to watch this offense. Locked in, ready to go. Great job reading the coverage. Great job having that option available. Touchdown. Next one. Next two-minute drive, same half, bottom of the screen, speed out. Again, so you don't want to play press man. You're going to play off. They're just going to pick you apart. Watch the drop here. Three no hitch. Boom. Back foot. Watch that back foot hit. All his cleats in the ground. Lined up. There is no wasted movement. He is locked into his target. Ball comes out up on the guy's face. Again, y'all, look at the accuracy. You think I just randomly say up on the guy's face every single time? It is a dot. Just outstanding. This is just quarterbacking from within the pocket at such a high level. Making it look easy. This looks like a layup line. One, two, three, back foot in the ground. That's a speed out. Just really fun to watch operate at this high of a level. Just have yourself a day. And it's the full catalog of throws. This next one, whole shot to the bottom. So we're going to get a whole shot to the bottom versus invert two. Watch the corners. The corners are going to play half field. Whoop. Are you going to give me some funky look? Great. I'll just rip a whole shot. That's easy. Thank you. I mean, you want to get exotic with your coverages? Try to play a 4-4. Thank you. Again, great job from Burrow. Again, love the play calling to give him the option to use his vision, use his ball control, decisiveness, accuracy, timing, rhythm. And when they pass protect, good things happen. So again, for me, you know, I don't know what people call this. I call this two invert. This is just cover two or Tampa two, but these guys are the half field players. So here's that deep hook player. You present that like high school 4-4 here on defense. So you get the run support in this 10 personnel, two by two open look. But at the end of the day, they're just playing Tampa. And so if you're going to play Tampa from this look, you're going to have no shot here to be able to protect this hole to the field. Now, easy for me to say, that's a whole shot to the field versus kind of an exotic look. So pretty unique, great coverage identification from Burrow and company. Again, I mean, look at you, you. The corner's got no chance here at the bottom of the screen to pedal to the half field to protect that hole. Defense not in a great position to make that play by any means, but Burrow still got to see it, recognize it, diagnose it, get it up and out. There's no one around him for five yards. That's just outstanding. It's so good. Next one here, second and nine. We're going to go slot fade to the bottom. Back shoulder again. Why wouldn't it be a back shoulder? Guys running with him hip for hip. That's good coverage. It's just better offense. Now, I personally think it's harder to throw back shoulder slot fade. I don't know if Burrow does because he makes it look easy. So again, you're going to catch press man. Okay, across the board, pretty easy to see. Most teams are going to love to get into slot fade versus press man. And if you don't gap him at the line of scrimmage and you've got a quarterback who can put it exactly where he wants to and has unbelievable ball control, this is what it looks like. Again, check the rhythm and balance that he's playing with from within the pocket. One, two, three, no heel click, all his cleats in the ground, lined up to his target. And that ball is right on the back shoulder. I mean, he literally is throwing him open. Okay, he's covered. He's covered tight. We throw him open. We, the royal we. Straight up dealing right here. Really dealing all day. That is outstanding quarterbacking. My goodness. Next one here. Just outside the red area, bottom of the screen, the number one receiver, a little scissors action. Again, attacking that middle field area because of what the mic does. So the mic's going to the passing strength. Ball's down inside the five. Watch the mic, 54. He's going to turn and go to the back. Right, They're going to try to match this thing to the left. So then we've got that whole middle area. And we're just going to run a little scissors action on our right. 85 comes into the screen. Number three goes too far. Again, great design, taking advantage of what their linebackers or second-level coverage is doing, trying to match. Getting the ball out on time, outstanding. Should have been a touchdown. So again, when I'm talking about scissors action and whether this is a 
a post or an in, it really doesn't matter. We're going to come up here and get this down the field switch. Here's where the ball ends up going. Okay, now that why this is so open is because of this player right here. He's going to match and go too far. And then the middle of the three linebacker types, right? One, two, three. The middle is going to match to the passing strength. So he's going to turn this way and work to the passing strength, which leaves this huge void right down the middle that we've already hit. What else did we hit it on? Wrap in earlier. This is attacking the similar spot in the field with the same type of underneath coverage. They're going to try to match, turn. We're going to take advantage of where they were. Again, Joe Burrow dealing, putting the ball exactly where he wants, to exactly the right guy, at exactly the right time, pace, ball control. Let his guy turn and run. Don't come back to the huddle after getting tackled inside the one. Next one here, third and four. A couple third downs to finish off here. Quarterback draw. Two man. He can do this too. Don't sleep on his athletic ability. We've already seen him create outside the pocket and throw it down the field. This time he can run a little. Look at the center. Got nobody to block. Love this thing. Verse two man. This is outstanding. Oftentimes you'll see teams run these exact routes that they're running here. So to me, this is just an iteration of double stick. So stick, stick, and then stick up here. And why you do that stick up there, why you do these outbreaking routes is because this is two man, okay? Two deep and then inside man trail. Okay, so they're all gonna be inside leverage, inside leverage. So when you come up and run, they're gonna run from the inside, try to undercut these things. So it just creates this massive cavern in the middle of the field. So verse two man, you catch quarterback draw with these types of routes tethered to it. See them all run out down here to the bottom and cover. Well, Joe Burrow's already running, right? Like, I mean, he's running. They're looking at their man. They've got two man. It's the perfect call. The center's got nobody to block. Nice patience from Burrow, set up the cut. Get caught from behind, but still, that's a big time run. Love it. Again, you can't sleep on his athletic ability. He just enough to create to do this. Third and four, fourth quarter. Love it. Big time run. Next one here, third and three, third and two. We're going to work the slant up top. Press coverage. You let that slant work a little bit. Now, is the throw perfect? No. But what I love about it is the footwork. Watch his footwork here. Sink on that back foot. So catch, sink. And you really can't see it from the end zone. But this is times where you're locking in this game. You're closing this game out. And so when you run slant, there are a number of coaching points about how to do these slant things. But first press here, you really got to allow your wide receiver to work a little. So it's not going to come off three-step perfect timing, you know, like routes on air. So you got to give him time to work, trust that he's going to win. And with the quarterback technique that I like is whatever the drop is, shuffle one step, you hit that back foot, and then you kind of sink like really sink into that back leg and allow your mechanics to still, your eyes stay level, shoulders stay level, your hips, shoulders, everything's aligned to where you want to go, but you don't rush it. You don't anticipate this. You got to let him win and then put it on him. So watch this back foot from Burrow. This is really outstanding job. Patience. Catch, sink. See how he kind of hangs on that back foot? Catch, great base, no heel click, sink. Give his guy a chance and again, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, you know where it's going. Everybody in the stadium knows where it's going. Hell of a catch, too. Balls behind him. Great job. Big time third down. My goodness. Again, just the rhythm of it. You can't see his feet here, but you can see him kind of hang on that back foot. Throw a great catch of a ball. Big conversion. Last one here. Third and four. I love the pocket movement here. First of all, I love quads, bunch, shift, bring it in. You know, it's some iteration of zone. The back does a great job scan protecting here, but really this is about Burrow's pocket movement. Trust it, up, over, little bunch shout, bunch drive here. Find the shallow, outstanding job. Watch Burrow's pocket movement. Up, trust it, up, over, eyes down the field. So watch the back, first of all, here. The back, they're on a full, the back's on a full scan all the way across. He's going to three. That's a big time block. That's a nice block. Be even nicer if he stayed on him the whole time. Burrow trusts it. Up, over, find the shallow. It's outstanding. I mean, so many third downs this drive, this fourth quarter, to kind of ice this thing. 
I just love the, their ability to kind of get in here, up, over, find the completion. Just allow Joe Burrow to work and close this game out. Pretty awesome. And the pocket movement in this game, he really didn't have to. But he definitely does this as well, if not better than anybody in the league. Really fun to watch. Great performance. So that is a wrap. Joe Burrow, week four, dealing. Just big plays all over the place. The big plays when he gets a chance to be protected and has got the ability to use his ball control, his efficiency, his pocket movements, his accuracy, anticipation, coupled with some of the weapons that they have out there on the Bengals perimeter. It is really, really fun to watch. It really is. I think the things that I kind of sometimes forget about when you kind of see immediately when you turn on the film is not only does he have the great ball control, the accuracy, the anticipation, but he also has that playmaker ability too. When things break down, you know, the scramble outside the pocket, the really sweet touch, the quarterback draw, the ability to create ever so much. But man, he's so efficient from within the pocket. I simply could not watch enough back shoulder throws from Joe Burrow. The dimes that he puts out there, whether it's the outside back shoulder fade, whether it's the inside fade back shoulder, whether it's the anticipation outside the numbers, whether it's taking advantage of the middle square based on the underneath coverage and how they're attacking that middle area of the field. They were just locked in and it was a lot of fun to watch. So thank you so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.